the devotee, she said, yeah, you can get that land, but you have to arrange for the people who are living there. Because there were people living there, occupying that land, where Prabhupada's house had been. And there was, you know, it's told there was a jackfruit tree and everything. And so she, th she said, I don't mind you getting the land, I'm quite willing, but you have to arrange, you have to make arrangements to compensate those people. You want them to move. You have to compensate them, give them money <coughs> so they can get another place to live, which is not easy in Calcutta. Anyway, the devotees, they, somehow they managed to do it. They got money and, and they paid off all the different... There was many people living on that land, one piece of land. They had to compensate many people to get the land for Prabhupada's birthplace. But they got it, and they're, they're trying to get more land because they don't, it's not a very big piece of land. They haven't really done much with it yet, they've just put a small altar there, and a couple of devotees live there and take care of it. But they have, they, they'd like to develop it. Another place of Prabhupada's pastime which was important was the Utadanga. Utadanga is a region, it's up in North Calcutta. It's well known the name Utadanga. As you say Utadanga, everybody in Calcutta, Jewish Calcutta people know it. So uh, this was where Prabhupada met Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada. Last night we saw the drama, the children were reenacting Prabhupada meeting is Guru Maharaj. So that meeting could, took place at Utadanga, and we managed to get that property. Also, of course, there was a lot of money. But they, they've renovated it very beautifully. Everyone's encouraged to go there and see the place. His Holiness Bhakti Charu Swami also played a major role in that. He gave instructions how they should renovate the place. He, he, he said, you keep it the way it was, but at the same time you make it look new and fresh, but you don't change anything in the structure of the building or the design of the building. So they've done it, they did a very good job. They spent a lot of money, but it's, it's, very, it's very well done, very tasteful. Beautiful pictures of Prabhupada, different pastimes of Prabhupada and Bhakti. And they have upstairs, they have the Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati deity, Murti there, and uh, many nice paraphernalia all connected with, devo with the devotional life. Prabhupada's book, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati's books, some writings even. So these places are very important. Another place uh, which has been acquired not by ISKCON but by some other Gaudiya Vaishnavas is the birthplace of Ishwara Puri. Now Ishwara Puri was the spiritual master of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, of course. So it's very important. It is said Lord Chaitanya used to take dirt from the birthplace of Ishwara Put and he would eat the dirt every day. He would eat that dirt. So it shows us how, how much important it is for us to respect the, the birthplace and the places of the pastime of the pure devotees. And especially for us because we are all followers of Srila Prabhupada. <coughs> We need to respect all the places of Srila Prabhupada's pastime. So, it's very nice that here in Switzerland, although Prabhupada didn't have a lot of pastimes here, but still they were significant, and we're remembering them. We celebrate, in London they celebrated the 50th anniversary the installation of Radha Landanishwara. We had a big festival, different devotees came who were involved. 
Buddha died for a little kid. So here in the future we want to try to encourage, try to get Indra Jumna Swami to come or at least to send a video just like Guru Garanga Prabhu arranged a video last night. We could also get Indra Jumna Swami Maharaj to make a video. If not, if you cannot personally come, you can also make a video and tell us something of the pastimes what you remember from the events which took place here. Uh, Indra Maharaj came here? Yeah, he was here when Prabhupada came to Jimmy. Oh, really? Yesterday okay. in the video, there was a Brahmachari playing yeah. drum and singing. Yeah, many people asked for the video, the audience. They really liked the video. Mm -hmm. Send, send it to me. Yeah. That, it's all in uh, Yanubara's USP, isn't it? That, he yes. just, that he's selling. Yes. He's selling the USP, isn't it's it? It's on YouTube also. It's all on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. You can download it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and I can... Indra Duna came at the same right time because he was doing Sankirtan in France. But Red said uh, not far away. And on the weekend, he used to come in Shamani Kadu. And you can also research who were other people who were here at that time. Did Hari Vilas Prabhu come? Hari Vilas, yes, yes. For, uh, for spiritual sky. Yes. Yeah. Did he come when Prabhupada was here? No, I mean, I don't know exactly. But I don't know. He came to Shumanji after he came for a spiritual there are, life. There are quite a few devotees who are either currently living in France or uh, somewhere else. Uh, I Guru Ranga knows exactly how many devotees were here, including uh, Matajis like Jyoti Mai and uh, other Matajis. What about yeah. Aditi? Aditi, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. She was here 10 years ago when we celebrated the 40th. Oh, she came? She came, she came yeah. yeah. She was here also. Yeah. Yeah. She's still, she's there Jata in the last one. Parijata was here. Who? Parijata Mataji. Parijata Mataji. Yeah, she was also here 10 years ago when we had the 40 years. Yeah. Parijata uh, and... Uh, Mandakini. Mandakini. Mandakini came here for yeah. Prabhupada? Yeah, for, <coughs> 10 years ago. Oh, no, 10 years ago, but when Prabhupada came No, she wasn't here. She wasn't here. Because she was, she was involved. involved. When, when, I, when I came to Geneva in, in 76, she was here. She was in the temple. She did Seva here. And she also went on Sankirtan, distributing books, and also came to German part to Zurich, distributed with the three. Uh, did Hari the last Prabhu come for the Prabhupada's visit in Geneva? Was Hari the last Prabhu there? No. No, he didn't come. Huh? What about Mundakini? Did she come? Uh, not sure. Well, she was in London in those days. Did Yogeshwara come? Yeah, yeah she was here. Yogi was here, and then she came later. Yogeshwara was here. Yogeshwara was here. Yogeshwara was here. Krishna. Krishna Prajumna? No. No, he is not. Pushta Krishna Maharaj. Pushta Krishna? Satsvarup? Satsvarup Maharaj? Krishna deserves a special mention. In 
What was this program at the WHO? That was when Prabhupada went there on June 6, 1974 to address the uh, family planning division and talked about overpopulation is no problem. <laughs> How many people were present? The lectures on the folio? Excuse me? It's all on the folio? It's on the database? They, they all on the... Uh, uh, not really, no. no. Uh, the lecture. The lecture. The lecture. Oh, it's it's on, on database. Yes. Lectures on database. No, the way how all lectures not on the database. It's not there. Not there. We didn't want to have it recorded. Huh? They didn't yes. want to have it recorded. They didn't want to have it recorded. Jai Guru did. No, they... no, we, we have it. I've seen it. I've read it. Where? Where can we get it? Uh, if you ask me, I'll, I'll send it to you. Could you please? With pleasure. Yeah, it would be nice to have, right? Yeah, thank you. I also wanted you to know that you were talking about a program, there was a thousand people there at it. What was this program? Uh, there was a hall that's not that far from the train station in a place called the Maison du Louvre. It belongs to the uh, government. And on the first floor, they have this big hall, lecture hall. We rented that. And um, when you see pictures of the festival, How did you publicize it? And the audience was mainly young people or what mixed? to come? No. No, he was not involved here. No, because Prabhupada, after Geneva, Prabhupada went to Paris for nine days, and then after that he went to Germany. So everybody down the line was busy, you know, putting together the program for Prabhupada. Even some of those who came like Bob Money stepped out. Thank you very much, Prabhu. Thank you for coming. I, uh, so, sorry, Prasadam. Prasadam is available now. So far away. Prasadam is ready now. Okay. Guru Guranga, you want some Prasadam? Yeah. 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 Ye
<laughs> That's all that is ready now for the Granga. You have to eat something. My dream is to come to Vaishnavi's apartment and, and take Krishanam uh, that Jesus took and thank her husband for all his patience and uh, in depth support. Because without him, your husband. She Thank you, Gurudharana Prabhu. It's also our dream that you come to Geneva and I cook pressure for you. We are waiting for that. Yeah, it will dogs also are waiting. Yes, we will make sambar, vada for you. It's a little more, it's a little more chilly. I suggest that you advise Pierangelo Prabhu to uh, check with the group, but uh, it, it, I, I feel like uh, I'm getting a lot of calls here, which is great for me, but I don't want to disrupt your program. Yeah, if we, if you want to speak with you, I, I call you back. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just saying check with uh, Jagger. Well, they're here with us. We, we check with them. <laughs> I, I don't want to be barging in uh, on, you know, all the time without any warning. We have to come to you because we weren't sure here. We were, I was asking them. We couldn't get it really definite, so we thought you would be the best one to confirm. That's why we called you. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Krishna